Hello, I'm Stefan Weidinger from the University Hospital Schleswig-Holstein in Kiel, Germany. And on behalf of my co-authors, I would like to introduce our manuscript, which reports data from a phase 2A randomized placebo-controlled trial in adults with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, or AD. AD is the most common inflammatory skin disorder, and for most patients, it is a lifelong condition. While strong type 2 inflammation is universal in patients with AD, phenotypic expression and disease course is highly variable, with acute and chronic skin lesions also demonstrating different contributions from Th1, Th17, and Th22 cytokines. As such, there is an opportunity to specifically target different mechanisms leading to activation and perpetuation of AD inflammation, particularly as novel treatments that target multiple immune axes may address unmet needs in different patient subpopulations. One such target is the OX40, OX40 ligand axis. Commonly expressed on antigen-presenting cells, OX40 ligand interacts with OX40, which is expressed on activated T cells leading to their activation and the secretion of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Under inflammatory conditions, OX4D ligand is upregulated on antigen-presenting cells following antigen presentation, promoting persistent immune responses that facilitate acute and chronic AD. Amlitelimab is a potentially first-in-class, fully human, non-depleting, non-cytotoxic monoclonal antibody that blocks OX40, OX40 ligand interactions with null effector function. This phase A to A proof of concept study assessed the safety and efficacy of amlitelimab in adult patients with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, inadequately controlled with topical therapies, and is the first to evaluate targeting of OX40 ligand on antigen presenting cells in AD. Patients were treated with amlitelimab at either a low dose, which was 200 mg loading dose and 100 mg maintenance dose, or high dose, 500 mg loading dose with 250 mg thereafter of amlitelimab, or matching placebo at 0, 4, 8, and 12 weeks. 89 adult patients with moderate to severe AD were assessed across Germany, Poland, Spain, and the UK. Amlitelimab was generally well tolerated across both high and low treatment groups up to week 16, with one or more treatment emergent adverse events reported by 62% of patients in the low dose group, 47% in the high dose group, and 69% in the placebo group. While no specific safety concerns were identified, adverse events that were more prevalent in the amlitelimab groups versus the placebo group up to week 16, with a difference of at least 5%, were headache, hyperhidrosis, upper respiratory tract infection, pyrexia, increased aspartate aminotransferase, and iron deficiency. The least square mean percentage change in eczema area and severity score, or EASY, from baseline to week 16 was minus 80% for high-dose amlitelimab, minus 70% for low-dose amlitelimab, and minus 49% for placebo. Numerically greater reductions in EASY were observed for amlitelimab compared with placebo from weeks 2 to 16. They were also consistent and nominally statistically significant improvements from baseline to week 16 with both amlitelimab doses versus placebo in the secondary efficacy endpoints, including the validated investigator's global assessment of 01, the EASY-75, and a greater than four-point improvement in the numerical rating scale for peak itch. These data support the hypothesis that targeted modulation of T-cell responses can be achieved by influencing co-stimulatory signaling during antigen presentation leading to a meaningful clinical improvement and long-term treatment effect.